toss. They have deferred. So Alabama will get the opening kickoff. Now Cody Parkey kicks off for Auburn. He's second in the SEC, third in Division I in touchbacks. And he just adds to that total. That's his 32nd touchback of the year. Blitz. McCarron. It's short of the first down. The catch is made by Brandon Gibson, but Alabama will be forced to punt. And the deep man for the Auburn Tigers is Quan Bray. Fair catch. Goal for and taken at the 31 yard line. We just had a feeling we might see a lot of him today. Much more the runner than the passer, and he hands it off to Michael Dyer. Play action. Mosley steps up. Chase got him. Damian Square, number 92. Okay, Marquise Mays is back. It'll be Stephen Clark, who has had a wonderful year. So is Marquise Mays, for that matter. At punt returns. Oh, this is a beauty. Wow. Taken by Mays at the 13-yard line. And he counterpunches out to the 30. During the return, block in the back. 33 of the receiver. 10 yard two. First out. Third down, seven. Darius Hanks comes to the right side. McCarron back, delayed blitz. And this is Smelly. And he's got enough for the first down after the 30-yard line. Yeah. Draw. Richardson battles his way across the 35. Richardson. Now comes and sets up alongside McCarron on third down and four. Crossing pattern underneath, it's Smelly. His second catch and second first down. Marquise Mays is up on the line. Here's McCarron, wide open. It's Michael Williams, the tight end. Richardson. He's got the first down at the 41-yard line. Well, we talk about his intensity. At the beginning of the game, one fumble in 583 touches. The last time he lost it, the only time in his career, sixth game. Here's the cross back. And they've got Kenny Bell open deep. Touchdown, Alabama. <laughs> Short oh, one. No. Wow. No. Oh, no. That might not even get a first down. Shank. That might not even get a first down. It did by four yards. Yeah, 18-yard punt. Wow. Eddie Lacy, number 42, the backup tailback is behind McCarron. Play action. Pulls up. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Brad Smelly. Scoots into the end zone for the touchdown. One time teammate of Will Muschamp. This is Kyle Fraser. Trey Mason is in motion. Gets the handoff, goes around the corner. Yes. Mosley, pressured again, gets it out on the edge. This is Trovon Reed, and he is stopped short of the first down. Well, they might pooch punt it here. Yeah. yeah. They might pooch punt this. That's it, exactly. Oh, oh. very effective. I don't, I don't mean this negatively at all. That was a really nice pooch punt. But when that's been your best play by your quarterback all day, that's not good news. No, no, no. I think I saw Brady do it, to tell you the truth. Goodness. 
Eddie Lacy is the running back. This one tipped. Uh oh. Fumble. Scramble. Who got it? Auburn got it. Kenneth Carter, number 92. Corey Lemonier forced the fumble. And off Lacey. Between the 24 and 25. Got Kenny Bell. Richardson in motion. McCarron, Smelly. And that uh, appears to be enough to move the chain. That was such a nice catch. Smelly had to adjust to this ball. Draw play. Oh, brother! <laughs> oh. McCarron finds Brad Smelly again. Look at the stiff arm on Chris Davis. And Smelly fights his way to a first down inside the Auburn 30-yard line. Alabama leading. Golf play. Richardson. His sixth carry. He won't go down. No, no, no. <laughs> he made the first down. No, no, no. Look at Blayhaus. McCarron, deep in the end zone. Kenny Bell was held up. There's the flag. Yeah, Jonathan and Chris Davis was beaten badly on the play. Pass interference, number 11 of the defense. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Changed the ball game, and then the turnover. Play fake, McCarron. Richardson, got it, goes for the end zone. Not this time, he scored. He didn't drop that one, did he? No, no, no. Almost the same play. Yeah, he stuck his feet right hand out and took it across the pylon for the touchdown. Second down 10. Kyle Fraser is in the backfield. Option. Now, I did talk to defensive coordinator Kirby Smart about the possibility of Frazier. He said, do you expect Frazier? Third and four. Uh, Frazier, rather. Huh. Upshaw gets Frazier. Number 54, Williams. Here's Stephen Clark. 18-yard punt last time out, remember? Marquise Mays. Fair catch. Call for. Grabs it at the 35-yard line. Trent Richardson. Stiff arm. And he's uh, yeah, the last hit one, out of uh, bounds. The last one will bring a flag. There it's, it is. Yeah, it did. Following the play, personal foul, 55 in the defense. Late hit out of bounds. 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Draw play. Richardson. Mute. That first question, down. The question's mute. So you never know about Alabama. So unpredictable. You think they're going to go shotgun, they go into center. <laughs> and they call on Richardson, who will be stopped short at the 25, and now will we see the field goal unit come on the field. Memorably, two of six in the overtime loss. Shelley's longest this year is 43, so they'll go for it on fourth down. Play action. Into the flat, it's caught by Smelly. What a first half he's having. Smelly has caught six. Up the middle it goes to the 15-yard line. A.J. McCarron is the holder. Perfect. They got one. Auburn's got one. Mosley. Hand off to Dyer. 
Dyer with over a thousand yards this season, but held in check here this afternoon. That's how dominating the front has been. They can't even get to the second level. Second down here with 105 to go. Well, that didn't get to the second level. They got three timeouts left, does Alabama. Well, fourth punt now. That average includes one of 18. Here's Stephen Clark. Turn. Nice. Marquise Mays grabs it at the 30. Reverses field. And is caught and dropped. And that will be the final play of the first half. A.J. McCarron led the way 24-7 as we get ready to go to the break. Remember what happened last year? It was a long pass that kind of took it from this score into a 10-point game real quick. That was the one where Barron couldn't lift up his arm. Mm-hmm. Short kickoff. Taken by McCaleb near side. Oh, this play. is what they wanted. Foot race. Ontario McCaleb. Touchdown. Auburn. Quick flip, Marquise, Marquise Mays, and he is uh, hit by Jonathan Nunsey, number six. Yeah. Richardson left side, nice cut, down the sidelines, and tackled finally. Yeah. Three, split wide right, play action. Inside route to Marquise Mays, and he dives inside the 30 and is tackled at the 27-28. Corey Lemonier with the tackle. Richardson bangs his way over right tackle, still fighting for yardage. Okay, that's like Earl, Earl Campbell right there. That's You're right. Earl Campbell-ish, isn't it? 28 yards. A.J. McCarron will hold it. They got three to answer Auburn's seven. Yep, he benched him on the kickoff. Wow. This is McCaleb again. Going right. Foster knocks him out of downs. I'm saying, Coach, let me come there. I can get it into the end zone for you because those short kickoffs are really stressing field position. Kyle Fraser is the quarterback on first down. He goes right. Kyle Fraser will take this five yards back. Kyle Fraser, it's going to be fourth down. Mosley is on. They will go for it. Fourth down and one. And Mosley under center. Michael Dyer. First down. That's the second first down in the ball game for the Auburn Tigers. Kyle Fraser back in. There's the option, the pitch. Whoa! Watch out, McCaleb. It's still loose. And McCaleb did fall on it. Lutzenkirchen is split off to the right side. There he is. His sister Ann, one of the three sisters, working for us in the truck, and she said, you had it absolutely right. Lutzenkirchen. Yeah, Lutzenkirchen. This will be his... 68th punt of the season, and 30 have been down inside the 20, and this will be another one. Unless... Oh, oh yes! Nice play. Wow! McCaleb, wasn't it? Of course! How about that? They'll try Richardson again. Nice job. Look, Look at, at him. Look, Look at, at that. that. <laughs> Mandel. 
Vaughn Bray is the deep man, and he takes the fair catch at the 43. Can they find one tricky play on offense? Dyer darts to the outside. Boy, what a nice move. Vinny Sanseri. Ladarius Phillips is on as a halfback. Okay, here we go. I don't know. Boy, didn't that seem a little too cute by half that yes. time? Yes. I mean, they picked it up just running a normal ISO play last time. <laughs> ha, ha. And Kirby Smart got hit just about as hard as the play on the field. Fair catch. Taken at the nine. Final play of the third quarter. Auburn one of nine on third down conversions. Hightower. He's coming. Mosley goes deep, intercepted, picked off easily. On the overthrow, this is D. Milner. Dives, touchdown, Alabama. How about this shift? Big tackle out here in the slot. Barrett Jones lined up. McCarron back. Oh my gracious, how easy was that? Michael Williams for two. Along the ground and taken up near the 35 yard line. Kyle Frazier is the quarterback, 35 14. And Frazier will keep it. Comes right, goes left. Ankle tackled by Vinny Sanseri. Again, Mark Barron injured and on the bench. Mosley finds Quan Bray. And with that lean, if he did get a first down, nice play, Dean Milner with the stop. Caleb coming right. And uh, knocked out of bounds. All right. And it's second down and four. Dyer. Lester finally is able to corral him and bring him down. Well, they were uh, number two in the BCS standings. New ones will be uh, revealed tomorrow night. Here's Mosley back. Goes left side wide open. It's Lutzen Kirken. And that was and it, right uh, on the knee. Right on his left knee. Yep. That's Trevante Stallworth, top of the screen. Here's Mosley back. In trouble. Down. Fourth down. Courtney Upshaw. Again. Disrupted things. Auburn will go for it. Blitz threatened? No. Mosley. Good coverage, protects the ball down, it goes over on downs, there is a flag down. Holding, offense 77, penalties decline, first down. It's so hard if you're going to try to throw in the red zone against Alabama because they play combo in the back. Here's McCarron, 9.34 to go. Richardson. Richardson comes left. Oh, my goodness. Well, you look for a moment, don't you? Yep. A defining moment for your career and perhaps the Heisman. Perhaps. He's got the tattoos. One of them on his right arm is of his mom. And the one on his left arm is his grandmother. So Trent Richardson. Here's Justin Fowler. Number 45. 15 yards. Into the flat for a 
Caleb. He's uh, um, and after this play, I'd like to get on my soapbox about this a little bit. This high. I was hoping. I was hoping you would. <laughs> I'll, get somebody, I'll get everybody else mad at me, right? Oh, goodness. There's McCaleb coming right. I'm going to ask the voters to try to be fair to these players. If you think Luck deserves it, fine. But you should vote Trent Richardson second. Opposite. If you think Richardson deserves it, you should vote Luck second. They both deserve their due. Here's Mosley into the flat for Quan Gray. No. Been there before. <laughs> took, took, took a few shots. We'll continue to take a few. Michael Dyer. You know, it, it's sports. Reverse, Quan Bray. There were four Alabama defenders out there. Quan Bray, number four loss. Number 30, Dante Hightower. Not have to go through the championship game. Here's uh, Dyer again. Look at that defense. Tell you another defense that is really coming on. The Georgia defense. Third and 14. Lux and Kirkin back on the field. They come right. McCaleb. Fourth and two. Under two minutes to go. McCaleb going left. Got the first down. And 89 yards against those guys, or whatever he had. I think it was 89. It was. It was, uh, he was very proud of it. Mosley. Tackled by Ed Stinson, number 49. <laughs> Did the ball come out? A lot of. Yes, it did. Stinson recovered it. Tell you what, you watch them play, you might argue whether they should play in the BCS championship game. I think they will, personally. You can't argue how great of a football team is. It's obvious watching them play. Now time for the play of the game. Presented by Napa Auto Parts. The interception was the difference in the game. You got to give it to the defense. It was still a game until that play right there. As good as the offense was, that one play typified the dominance of the Alabama defense all game. Richardson, 203 yards. Gets a hug from Ontario McCaleb, Demetrius McNeil, 